It is 6.30 in the morning. I am sitting here on the most wonderful front porch with a picture perfect view of the mountains of the highlands and I am watching the sunrise. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> the experience that I was hoping for when coming to Sri Lanka. Ella was the top place that I wanted to visit just by a stroke of luck as well because sometimes when you book accommodations you don't exactly know what your view is going to be or how a place is going to look but I was able to find a guest house in the absolute boonies. So keep in mind in the absolute boonies of Ella where there is only one other guest that can stay here. There's only one other room and the rest is like locals in this area and I am paying 25 US dollars a night breakfast included. So let's begin with the boonies. <laughs> As you can see we are just surrounded by forest. It is very difficult to get up here so for anybody with accessibility issues I would not recommend it like, definitely not you have crazy steep stairs also not fun with a lot of luggage but you are staying somewhere beautiful super remote and as you can see look at this I love a great porch like a great porch with the view it's kind of difficult right now because there's a bit of contrast with the sun in the clouds but I'm telling you guys the nature here is just on another level and then over here is my actual room having a um, mosquito net I definitely appreciate not that there's been a crazy amount of mosquitoes to be honest in candy in candy there were so many mosquitoes I wish I would have had a mosquito net but good that I have one now you get a nice big dresser and you get your own washroom it's nothing fancy of course but I mean for 25 right like 25 US dollars to have your own room in a beautiful peaceful place and you get a nice basic breakfast every morning. We are officially in civilization, my friends. We are in the heart of Ella Town, but be warned, it really is only like a two kilometer stretch at most. That is the whole town. Thankfully, it does have a lot going on. There are a lot of great restaurant, cafe, store options, and this is also the place that you can go to get a tuk-tuk tour, like the one that I'll be doing uh, tomorrow but I actually booked mine on Airbnb experiences so I'll link that for anybody interested but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of the town site so you have an idea of what it's like in the boonies and then what it's like in town started spitting rain so I popped into one of my favorite restaurants here in Ella which is Starbeans Ceylon. They have a mix of things like Western food as well as Sri Lankan specialties, fairly reasonably priced and super tasty. Now one last note that I wanted to give you guys about staying in Ella town is that it is at least maybe 30% more expensive than in the booties for the same thing. 
I would say that the average good mid-range hotel right in town is going to be at least 50 to 60 US dollars and personally I would not recommend the budget options here from the reviews that I read which is why also I stayed in the boonies. You can expect that food is going to be more expensive than in Candy or even Colombo honestly from my experience as well as the Tuk Tuks because there is no Uber here and they can technically charge whatever they want. Sure it's still not crazy high rates but one of the reasons that I booked on Airbnb experiences is because you have a set price. I don't have to negotiate with anybody on the street and the guy also had really good reviews whereas here you're kind of taking a chance with any random person you come up to. So to each their own depends what you're looking for but just wanted to give you guys that heads up if you are thinking of staying in town. But with no further ado let's get into tomorrow's adventure. So this morning I'm here with my guide Danushka. <laughs> He's going to be showing us around Ella today and we're starting with Little Adam's Peak, Peak Hike. Yeah. And it's like a beautiful view of Ella Gap, right? That was yes. kind of yes. what was written. Is it a difficult hike? No, it's a, like a, just like a 20 minute hike. Oh, that's not bad. We go to up, we have like a stairs. Yeah. So it's very easy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> It's not that that was a difficult hike, but it's actually quite hot this afternoon and the sun's beating straight down on you. So that was uh, the hardest part of coming up here. But absolutely stunning guys. You really do get a 360 view of this area. Danushka was saying that if it was like May time when it's not so smoggy and cloudy, you could actually see more of the south like all the way down to the south coast uh, with that back area but in this season it's actually not that bad too you get to see the whole area of Ella all the different hills and valleys it is super super beautiful Alright guys, we just got to the Nine Arches Bridge and the train is just about to get here. I'm gonna see if I can get it.
perfect timing guys got here right as the train passed and uh you said there's another one coming in about yeah. half an hour yeah, yeah? but to be fair guys there are so many tourists here this is of course one of the top attractions of ella and this is a colonial era bridge right like yeah, built by colonial. the british Built by British in uh, finished by 1921. Yeah. And uh, the uh, total in by uh, British government mm -hmm. from Colombo to Batulare attack. And you said it was made with no iron. Yeah. So this something is special. So this bridge made uh, without any iron. So wow. normally, if we are making some uh, building uh, inside the concrete, we need to put some concrete uh, like uh, iron. Yeah. But uh, this there's no any iron. Just like uh, bricks, concrete bricks and cement. Yeah. It's pretty impressive and it is in the most stunning area. to our next stop of the day which is Demodura train station this is the main way that most people get to Ella which is by the train I'm not sure if we'll be lucky enough to have one pass by as we're here it's interesting because here you can see a sort of representation of how the train comes into the station through this sort of looping system right it's like yeah this uh, you are calling the modern looping loop system so uh, this made by under the british government mm -hmm. so the, uh, actually is uh, something uh, sri lankan idea it's by one of uh, sri lankan engineer we are calling pk apuhami mm -hmm. and one of british engineer also and uh, they got idea from uh, like a looping loop system so this is the one and only looping loop system in the sri lanka and one and only natural looping loop system in the world that is super cool actually. It really makes me want to ride the train because I did come here by bus because all the train tickets were sold out. But it's cool that it yeah comes into the station then goes all around the mountain underneath to the cave and then comes out this way to... What was the name of the station? It's called Demodras so or last station in Badullas. So here we are in a local bakery shop. What did you say the name this of this one was? Local name Wadi. Wadi. Yeah. And what is it exactly? That's uh, made from uh, dal. Dal. Yeah. So we need to grind the dal, and uh, we need to add the curry leaves and uh, like a salt and uh, everything, mm -hmm. and we need to fry it. Cool. So that, so like a uh, Arabic falafel. Nice. <laughs> and then we're also gonna try the fish bun. Interesting. All right, we got our fish bun and wadi, yeah? Wadi. 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 <laughs> All right, taste test of my first wadi. Hmm. Oh, got a bit of a bit of a bite to it. A little bit spicy, but not too bad. Quite nice. friends i just got to ravana falls danushka is waiting in the uh tuk tuk because there are so many monkeys here and i have some you know loose extra stuff that they would probably be very happy to get a hold of so he's gonna stand guard but we stopped here because this is absolutely some of the most stunning waterfalls i have ever seen ravana is the tallest waterfalls in all of ella and it is just so majestic. I don't think you can swim in these. I don't see anybody swimming in these, but maybe you can at the bottom. But Danushka said that he knows of another waterfall that doesn't have the 
big crowds that of course this place does so we are going to head there and have a little swim After a bit of a hike, we are at the secret waterfall, right? <laughs> There's not that many people here and you can go for a swim. So on a hot day like today, I'm looking forward to it. We have arrived to our slightly late lunch, but we are gonna be eating at a very local place that I think is going to have a lot of curries, probably rice, and sambal. Yeah, so we have rice. This is dal. Dal. Green bean. Mm -hmm. And this uh, special leaf, you do, do you know cassava? Yeah, I know cassava, but I thought it was a root. Chips. Yeah. But this is a leaf. A cassava leaf? leaf. Cassava yeah. leaf, okay. And this is the baby jackfruit. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, something... Uh, curry. Yeah. Right? Some kind it's of curry. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Looks great. This looks absolutely lovely. A huge array of different veggies. Jackfruit in a way I've never tried before. And some chips. So good. And for dessert... I'm going to have lychee for the first time here in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Stutsi. Thank you. The skin like yeah. this. Okay. Fabulous. So nice. Then we will get the yeah. lychee. Yeah. Then we can Taste test. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Our last stop of the day is of course the famous tea plantations that they have here in Sri Lanka. It is crazy how high it goes, isn't it? It's like, just goes up and up and up. <laughs> uh, but you were saying that this plant here, it produces both green and black, black tea. tea. Yeah, so yeah. from one plant we yeah, uh, make the green tea and black tea. Yeah. From the factory process, we have different process. For black tea, we have fermentation, but green tea, we don't have fermentation. Yeah. But for the white tea, we have some special variety. Mm -hmm. So that white tea, we have, especially we are using only this bud. Mm -hmm. Just for this bud, but there's another plant. Mm -hmm. But this green tea and black tea, we are making same plant. But everywhere we have, same plant. Yeah, and they are still picked by hand, right? Yeah, normally pluggers, they need to pick by a hand. So normally there's a lot of women are working in the tea plantation and daily they need to pluck like this leaf 20 kilos. Wow. Daily they need to pluck 20 kilos. Uh, it, not in one time they need to pluck like a 5 kilos then they need to go to uh, like a hand, hand over time then yeah. again they need to come again they need to pluck wow. 20 kilos then they will get the salary for day. That's crazy. Mm. But yeah if you are a tea lover this is where you come.
And that is it, friends. I am back home in the lovely jungle accommodation that I got. Gonna watch the sunset, gonna have a cup of tea, and have a nice early night to bed in complete silence. By the way, I did want to mention that if you actually want to go to a tea plantation, there are a whole bunch around here uh, in Ella, but I've already been to three on this trip and did one in Candy that I put in a video, so that's why we didn't really bother with that. But if you wanted to go, that's one of the top things to do here. For sure, I will put in the description uh, Danushka's uh, Airbnb link because I definitely would recommend him as a guide. I'll put the uh, booking.com link for where I stayed for anybody else who wants to be out in the boonies. And I would love to know from you guys, anybody who has been to Ella, what are some of your top tips? What are some of your favorite places? Next up, I will be going down south to Marissa, to the coast to see the amazing beaches that they have here in Sri Lanka. So I am super excited for that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.